What's going on guys, my name is Josh and in today's video we're going to be creating this awesome write on text effect. You may have seen this effect before as it's used quite often in travel videos and vlogs. I think one of the big channels that uses it quite a lot is called Beautiful Destinations and also I've seen vloggers like Chris Howe use it as well. It's a really nice simple effect that you can apply to your titles to make them that little bit more interesting. So we're going to be working in After Effects today, so if you have After Effects we are good to go. Let's not waste any more time, let's jump straight into the computer and learn how to create this effect. Okay guys, so once you've got After Effects open, the first thing we need to do is create a new composition. So if we come up here to the composition button, go to new composition, I'm going to rename this to main comp. We're going to do 1920 by 1080 p 30 frames a second and 10 seconds long. Press OK and then we're going to import our footage. You can also do this with photos and images as well if you want to be using it for Instagram. But for this tutorial I'm just going to be using this drone footage right here. So we're going to import that in. You're then going to click and drag your footage or your image, whichever one you're using, down into the composition. I've got some 4K footage here so I'm just going to scale it down so it fits properly. And then I'm going to quickly add some cinematic letterboxing bars. You don't have to do this yourself, but I think it does make it look a little bit better. Got a preset here. Put that down to 80. There we go. And now we're ready to start adding our text. So if we right click down here, go to new and text. I'm going to type in Wonderlust. There we go. I'll put a link down in the description to the font I'm using. It's called the Red Light. It's a really nice script font. There is plenty of other script fonts to choose from out there, so have a look, do some research. Don't use the same one as everyone else is using because it's not creative at all. So we're going to right click on our text layer here, go to transform, center anchor point, right click again, transform, center in view. I'm just going to scale this up a little bit to maybe 200, that looks good to me. And now we're ready to start adding the write on effect. So I'm going to hide the footage for now just so we can see what we're doing, we can bring that back later. The way we're going to be doing this is we're going to be tracing the um, font with the pen tool and then we're going to be using a stroke technique to reveal the text afterwards. So if we come up here to the top of the screen where the pen tool is, click on that. We're going to zoom in here. Now most tutorials will tell you that you have to make a path and trace the whole thing in one go. So like going up here through the W, coming out through the top and then coming back down to the A and so on and so on. For some reason people don't realise that you can do it letter by letter. So that's the way I'm going to be doing it today. It's much tidier and you can get a much nicer result. So we're going to make sure our text layer is selected. We're going to zoom in a little bit here and we're just going to start tracing it straight through the middle of our text. Following the curves by clicking and dragging and then just following the shape of the text as much as you can. The better you do it, the better result you're going to have in the end. And keep going around like this. I'm just going to do the W first and I'll speed it up so I can show you how you do multiple different masks. So something like, oh, hang on. There we go. Actually, make a little curve on that. Come up like this, come back down. Come round here, up here, and then we'll just end it up here like so. So that's our first letter done. To make a separate mask, you're just going to hold control and click off of it. And then when you start clicking again, it'll make another mask. So I'm going to go through now and do this for each and every single letter. I'll speed this part up and I'll see you when I'm done. And there we go guys, it's as simple as that, I've done a separate mask for each different letter. I probably should have mentioned before that you want to be drawing your masks in the direction and also the order that you want the write on effect to happen. So for example on the T here you would draw this section from top to bottom and this section from left to right as that is how you'll be doing it with a pen or a pencil. So we've done our masks now, it is time to create the write on effect. So if we come over here to the effects panel we're going to type in stroke. I'm going to click and drag that onto our text layer and for some reason people don't see this little button here which I'm assuming is why they think you have to do the whole thing in one mask and not separate ones. So we're going to start off by ticking this little box that says all masks. 
Then we're going to make sure that stroke sequentially is on, which it should be. That basically means it's going to do them letter by letter instead of all at once. We're then going to make sure the brush hardness is on 100%. We're going to bring down the brush spacing to 0%. And we're just going to change the color to something a bit brighter so we can see what we're doing. So basically all we have to do is bring the brush size up until you can no longer see the text below. I think we'll go with 14 to give ourselves a little bit of headroom here. And then all we need to do is change the paint style from on original image to reveal original image. Now if I start playing with the end value here, you'll see we are already getting the right on effect. So if we come back here to the beginning of the timeline, we're going to make a keyframe by clicking at the stopwatch button for end. We're then going to change it to zero. And I go forward a few seconds, I'm going to do let's say 5 seconds, I like it to be quite a long animation. Most people would do 1 or 2 seconds but I'm going to do 5 for this example. We're then going to bring it back up to 100% on 5 seconds. And now if I play through that now, you'll see we are already getting the desired uh, right on effect. So if you're in a rush and you just need this effect to be over and done with, you can stop here. But if you're a little bit of a perfectionist like me and you'll notice that there are a few mistakes kind of like that going on, then let's go ahead and fix them now. So make sure your text layer is selected. We're going to be using the page up and page down keys to be going forwards and back frames just like this. We're going to go right back to the beginning where the first mistake is and all we're going to do is click and drag this point a little bit to the left to get rid of it. Simple as that. Use your page up and page down to go through find the mistake and then just drag the uh, point that's nearest. Maybe we'll go with this one. Actually, no. I'll go with this one. Just drag it a bit over just like that. Go forward a frame. It's looking good. Maybe bring this over a tiny bit like that. Keep going. We're looking good. We're looking good. Keep going. And maybe drag this one over a little bit. It's as simple as that guys, you just got to go through just dragging the points over so they no longer have mistakes like that. So I'm going to go through and make sure all of it is as perfect as possible and I'll be back with you when I'm done. And there we go guys, as simple as that, it's really nice and easy just to fix up those paths there. So if I go through and I play that out now, you'll notice it's much nicer and much more neat. You will notice however that we've got a few problems here with S's and T's and if any letter that has crosses through it is going to have this problem but there is a way to fix this so we're going to go ahead and do this now. First of all you want to make sure you've got your keyframes exactly how you want them to be so get your length how you want it to be and uh, we're going to add a little bit of easing to our keyframes to make the animation a little bit smoother. So we're going to make sure we've got them both selected. We're going to press F9 on our keyboard. And now if I play through that now, you'll see it starts off slow, gets a bit faster in the middle, and then ends nice and smooth. So once you've done that, you've got your keyframes all sorted. We're going to make sure we've got our text layer selected. We're going to hold down Control, Shift, and press C. This is going to make it into a pre-composition, so basically we can add more masks without affecting the effect we've got going on here. So we're going to call this uh, text, press OK, and now we're going to go through, we're going to find where we've got the problems going on, which is right here, and then we're going to go to basically where we want this part of the S to appear and actually go through. We're going to go to that frame just before. We're going to click our pen tool again and we're going to zoom in. Make sure you've got your layer selected first. Then we're just going to create a simple mask over this mistake here. Something like this. Create a little square. Just like that. We're then going to press M with the layer selected. Make sure it's on um, none for now. Then we're going to make a keyframe for the mask by pressing the stopwatch. And then we're going to use our page up and down keys again to go back and forwards a few frames. So the next frame here, we want to drag this mask off screen because we don't want to be taking away that mistake anymore on that frame. We'll go back a few frames, we want it to stay there. Okay, and this is the frame we want to come in. So we're going to make a keyframe right there. And then the frame before, we're going to drag it back 
away like that. So if I go through this now, you'll see it comes in and goes away. Now all we need to do is change the mask from none back to subtract and you'll see we have fixed the problem. Simple as that guys, I'm going to go through and do exactly the same for the other mistakes on the S and the T and I'll be back with you in a second. And there we go guys, that literally only took me a minute and now if I play through this now, you'll see we have got a nice and neat right on effect going on. I could probably make it even neater if I really spent the time, but for this tutorial I think that is well good enough to uh, surpass my standards. I think the D could probably mean a little bit better, but I'll probably fix that later on. Uh, but for now that's all good. So we're going to bring back in our footage here. We've got some nice 4K footage which is lagging like a beast because my computer can't handle it. And what we're going to do now is we're going to finally add the finishing touches. I'm going to import this nice little brush stroke I've got here. I'm going to bring that under the text. We're going to add an invert effect to make it white. I'm then going to change the layer style to screen. We're going to change the scale of this a little bit, a little bit longer, maybe 150. There we go. Maybe bring it down to 80. And then we're going to rotate it a little bit like this. We're going to bring that down so it's under the text, like that. And we're going to basically do the same sort of effect but without using a mask this time because we don't really need to. We're just going to use a linear wipe, so we're going to type in linear wipe, drag that onto our underline there and you'll see it's simple as that. We're going to do it from, yeah we'll do it from right to left. So once the text is finished or maybe just before the text is finished, about there, we're going to make a keyframe. Then we'll go, I don't know, half a second, bring it back down to zero, let's see what that's looking like, nice. Put a tiny bit of feathering on there, just to make it look not quite as sharp. So there we go guys, that is pretty much it for this effect. As you can see it's animating in nice and smoothly, it really is that simple to create a nice right on text effect for your titles. I hope you guys found this video helpful, if you did find it helpful and you want to show me some support, please drop a like on the video right now, smash that like button for me, let me know down in the comment section below if you have any questions or if you've got stuck at any point and I'll do my very best to help you out. Subscribe if you haven't already and make sure you've hit that bell button to turn on post notifications, otherwise you YouTube will not tell you when I've uploaded a video. And that's it for now guys, thanks for watching, I will see you in the next video.